Uh, hello everyone. Uh, before we start, if you have empty seat near you, raise your hand. It's, it's okay. Okay, let's start. Um, hello everyone, my name is Alexander Nerzhenko. This talk is how to hack VMware uh, with Intro Server. Uh, in this talk I'll discuss uh, some way, uh, ways to I gain control over uh, vCenter, which means uh, to the whole network. I'll describe a few non-dangerous bugs. Uh, there were zero days when we found them, uh, but if we can use uh, all of them together, uh, we can uh, hack vCenter. Uh, so, uh, just about me. I am uh, work uh, as penetration testing at RP scan company. We do some business security, research, and testing. Also, I'm uh, one of organizer uh, DEFCON group in Russia and Zero Nights conference. Also, I'd like to play sometimes CTF. Uh, and uh, this talk was prepared uh, with Alexei Sinsov, so thanks him to ID and support. Unfortunately, he couldn't attend uh, DEFCON. Uh, but before I start talking about VMware, I would like to talk about pen tests and generals. So, uh, the main goal of pen tests is to uh, show weak elements in the uh, infrastructure, how hack system, why we can hack it, and uh, uh, show how we can hack it. Um, uh, we have uh, usually a large number of targets, different types, uh, and um, uh, unfortunately, we, we didn't have usually not much time limited. So we couldn't, couldn't use all uh, bug hunting methods like uh, source code review because uh, it's uh, usually a lot of time and we need source uh, reverse engineering. The same reason we could use a little bit of phasing if we have web or binary anyway. Usually we can use uh, logic, uh, looking for logic flow and uh, uh, searching bugs and public research. Um, yeah, uh, I would like to show that uh, using public research like uh, old bugs, old research, old information, and uh, little bit analysis, uh, we can find uh, new bugs. Uh, so uh, one day we have a network, big network, uh, and the whole infrastructure was built on. Uh, VMware is XI hosts and vSphere. So uh, all seems pretty secure, uh, all patched up uh, with latest updates. Uh, there was no default password or anything stupid. So uh, we decided to uh, try attack vCenter server. Uh, because vCenter is a solution to manage vSphere. So if you can hack vCenter, we can hack all VM uh, machine and all the infrastructure. So we have vCenter version 4.1 update 1. Uh, there are a lot of services on vCenter like update manager, office data, chargeback, and each service has a web server and usually use uh, Java technology. So first thing we found in the public uh, source is uh, old directed traversal discovered by Claudio Cristoni. Um, it's classic directed traversal, I think, but uh, it was fixed in, in our version, so it's bad. Uh, but Alexei Sinsov uh, didn't trust any fix or patch, and after a few minutes, he found another directed traversal almost in the same place. Uh, now there are a Metasploit model for this uh, directed traversal. So we have, uh, we can read any file, but uh, what file to read? Uh, Claudio proposed to read the file WPGSD profile. It's a log file, and we sent to use SOA protocol, and this log file contains SOA request with session ID. So if we replace uh, our session ID with uh, session ID from admin, we have can get uh, admin access. He also developed a tool uh, called Vasta. 
it uh, has collection of exploit modules and uh, also has um, a local proxy for this task. But unfortunately it also be, was fixed in our version. Uh, but it contains uh, IP addresses of administrators. If it's contained IP addresses of admins, we can uh, try use classic attack, rack make IP, IP poisoning, uh, spoof as a SSL certificate and uh, sniff traffic. But uh, administrators of this network was pretty clever and uh, they uh, add certificate to trust it and didn't clear no button, so it doesn't work. Uh, so we find another way, we just steal key via directory traversal uh, and make RP poisoning, decrypt uh, traffic. Uh, but uh, what if RP uh, spoofing doesn't work? Uh, so uh, we uh, do a little bit analysis and um, found uh, this center orchestrator. If it's a software for automatic configuration and management v center. It's uh, installed by default with uh, vCenter as it has interesting files like gate, etc, password properties which contains md5 hash without assault. <laughs> so <laughs> nowadays like I you know it's not very secure. <laughs> so we of course brute forces and I gain control. So we get in and this is interface of uh, orchestrator configurations. Uh, like you can see there are a lot of uh, plugins and pages interesting like database, LDAP, mail, SSH. All that pages, uh, almost all have password field in them. So we think that it, it will be cool if you can uh, read those password fields and actually there wasn't just in plain text. Yeah, just like that. Pretty easy for hackers. It's a job. So uh, we also find interesting, interesting files like uh, VS XML and Vimeo properties. Uh, these files looks like uh, this. It has something like uh, it looks like uh, hash, but actually it's, it's didn't hash because it has uh, odd lengths. So definitely not hash. Uh, uh, so I uh, encoded few passwords and uh, as you can see the first uh, red bytes uh, looks like a lens, uh, green bytes are, was always constant and they was, are in ASCII range and uh, black bytes uh, when you encode other passwords or the same password they was uh, every time different. Uh, and also I would like to say that now there are knowledge base article from VMware about this issue. Uh, so I decompiled application and found this pretty simple algorithm. It just generates 60 random string, uh, then uh, take password, password symbol, add position of this password and that's all. It's, I think, uh, not a very clever decision to store a password in this format. Uh, so I write, I write simple decoder and Ruby. Uh, so it's um, another way to hack a system. But uh, there was another way. We didn't find that bug during our penetration testing, but I think it's very interesting bug. Uh, it was discovered by guys uh, from Digital Defense and they found out that vCenter Orchestrator has an uh, old Struts library and uh, that library has a uh, record, remote code execution bug discovered by Medek Duelyev. Uh, it was bug in uh, handling original expression. Uh, original expression is a language for setting and getting Java properties. Uh, and uh, each HTTP parameter treats as um, uh, original expression, so you could just um, um, uh, bypass uh, uh, this uh, Unicode hash sign and execute any Java code. So it's this example of exploit, you just uh, insert this code in get request and uh, get remote code execution. 
So uh, I think that um, often during penetration testing we have like a big uh, uh, system, big applications, which has a lot of library and dependency. Uh, so I think that's maybe cool to have some tool to find a fast uh, vulnerable library. Uh, so I write this, this tool, it just uh, gets its library name, gets its version, uh, uh, and uh, search in Soviet database. Now it uses uh, standard Soviet database, but in future I would like to make uh, my own database of vulnerability. So uh, there are four vectors to attack with center. We find out like uh, directly traversal and IRP poisoning, directly traversal and password decoding put forward and the remote consecution using uh, strats back. Uh, also, uh, with center infrastructure products, uh, there are a lot of projects with, with center, like operation management suite, capacity configuration man management. Uh, they all uh, have some sort of credentials for um, this center. So there are maybe another uh, vulnerability in this, in this system. So, if you have one, you may think about how to make it more like secure. Uh, so for hardening, I recommend to update, of course, the last version. Uh, filter uh, administration services and configurations, uh, such like usual user uh, didn't have access to this. And uh, VMware have vSphere security hardening guide. It's pretty uh, interesting uh, documents. It has, it has uh, a lot of tips. I, which may prevent from zero days vulnerability, like uh, to make permission of, on SSL certificate and passwords, something like that. So conclusion that uh, patch are no, not always fixed back properly, and um, if pen tester uh, can get more profit if he tries to research something and a few simple bu bugs and we can own own all infrastructure. So I think that's all. And, uh, I think uh, we have time. Any questions?